There are any number of prognostic factors that we look at in order to determine whether chemotherapy is indicated in a particular patient's breast cancer. If one had to pick the most important, it would be the status of the lymph nodes. Obviously, lymph node negative breast cancer is the best. And then there's a straight line correlation between number of positive lymph nodes and long-term risk of distant recurrence with greater than 10 lymph nodes implying probably a 95% chance of distant recurrence without some type of, type of adjuvant endocrine or chemotherapy. A lot of patients think that if their nodes are negative, that implies that there's absolutely no risk of distant recurrence. Obviously, we wish that were true. If one looks at a large population of node-negative breast cancer, the risk of distant recurrence without any adjuvant treatment is about 15 or 20 percent. So that lymph node negativity is obviously a good start, but does not necessarily imply that there's zero risk of distant recurrence. Beyond the nodal status, there are then any number of factors we look at to further refine that risk of recurrence. For instance, if the hormone receptors are negative, that risk of recurrence may go up to about 30%. The size of the tumor is also important. If the tumor is under a centimeter, that risk of recurrence generally is quite low. The other factor to be considered is the HER2 new status. If one has a HER2 new positive breast cancer, that implies a more aggressive tumor and certainly cancers over a centimeter and probably over a half a centimeter, especially in younger women, would need some type of anti-HER2 chemotherapy with Herceptin. The estrogen receptor positive, lymph node negative group of patients is actually the largest population of breast cancer that we see. Thankfully, there's a test now called Oncotype DX that we often send in those particular patients that will give us a clue as to whether chemotherapy would be helpful in that particular patient. If the Oncotype DX score comes back high or over 32, that indicates a very dramatic increase in the cure rate with chemotherapy. And when the recurrence score comes back very low, one can be assured that the addition of chemotherapy is not helpful. So that there are any number of other factors to look at in deciding as to whether some additional therapy, either anti-estrogen therapy or chemotherapy is needed in node negative breast cancer. But overall, obviously node negative breast cancer is better. And the additional benefit often brings those patients up to over a 90% cure rate. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.